Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about how to start your fitness journey in 2024. I was that girl who thought never ever in my entire life, like ever, am I gonna join a gym? Because I always hated pee in school. I was always the worst. I was always so out of breath when we were running. But I was also super insecure. I didn't like my body. I always felt like I was overweight, like I was weighing more than all of my friends but I always felt like losing weight was such a task that I could not do because it is something so unrealistic where you have to follow you know these boring unrealistic strict diets where you pretty much have to starve yourself and <laughs> eat the same boring stuff all the time and also where you have to do hours of cardio. I always wanted to lose weight and work out, but I never knew how. In 2019, I kind of had enough and I was like, I'm gonna sign up for a gym. I started pretty much in the middle of the year. It was like October, I think September or October of 2019. Not New Year, so if you're watching this after New Year's, you can start your fitness journey in any month of the year. It absolutely does not matter when you start your fitness journey. Went to the gym my very first day. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I didn't use any of the weights. I pretty much went on the cardio machine and I used the cardio machine before, but for some reason, the cardio machine wasn't immediately working. So I got nervous and then I asked the person next to me and then it worked, of course, after trying again. And I was so embarrassed. Then I remember I was just going around trying a few machines, but I really didn't know how to use them. So I left crying and then I went to McDonald's later in the evening which was a great first time going to the gym. Don't be afraid to fail because after that I was like okay I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna do it until I feel comfortable going to the gym and until I know what I'm doing there. The biggest fear before I was joining the gym was what if I tell everyone that I'm joining a gym and then I won't go and my other fear was what if I sign up and then I buy clothes and other stuff and I pay my gym membership and I don't stick to it and I was so focused on what happened if I didn't continue to go to the gym that I never focused on what could happen if I just kept going. After going a few times I realized how much I love going to the gym which was something completely new for me. Lifting weights made me feel so strong and for the first time ever in my life I did something that was just for me like it was literally me time and I invested time into myself and never did anything like that before. Having some off time, having my headphones in, the world blocked out and doing something for myself. Then I realized that eating healthy doesn't mean that you have to starve yourself or that you have to eat you know all of these boring meals and I learned that by lifting weights and by gaining muscle I can even eat more which is amazing and after a while after going for a certain time I also became so much more confident and now I absolutely love going to the gym not just for physical reasons but for my confidence for how I feel about myself how strong I feel how good I feel in my body but also also for mental reasons because I always feel better after I go to the gym and when I don't go to the gym for a while I do realize that I'm struggling mentally a lot <laughs> which brings us to our first tip and that is to set realistic goals when you're starting your fitness journey you do not get anything from telling yourself that you go to the gym six to seven times a week that you're gonna have like the strictest diet dropping insane amount of calories maybe not eating at all or i don't know there's so many extreme things that people tend to do also losing weight in a certain amount of time if you want to lose a lot a lot of weight in like two or three months i mean you can but the chances that you're going to gain it back or even gain more are so high there are so many studies that pretty much most people do gain their weight back within a few years and if you feel behind in life and if you're like oh my gosh i wish i started like four years earlier or something we all have these thoughts what i always tell myself when i regretted not doing something earlier is uh, there is also this this quote i'm not sure how it goes but it's like the best day to plant a tree was like 20 years ago or something but the second best day is today of course it would have been better if you started four years ago you would be super fit by now but your future self in a year is gonna be so glad that you started 
today. The second thing is to make a workout plan that suits your needs, which means don't follow what other people are doing online or your friends. You need to look at your schedule and figure out how many days can you go to the gym a week. I would say, especially as a beginner, two to three times a week is perfectly fine. And the thing is that if you tell yourself that you're going to the gym, I don't know, five, six times a week, not only is like six times in my opinion way too much, but and you're falling off of that again because it's like too much you will feel discouraged because every time you don't go you're gonna beat yourself up for not going and maybe then you give up completely so i think it's better that you say you go two to three days a week and then make sure that you really stick to those two to three days and then you can still increase going to the gym four days five days a week you also don't need to start on a monday if you don't feel like monday fits into your schedule i know a lot of people get stressed if they have to be at the gym on a monday because they have other responsibilities i I didn't work out on a Monday for months. <laughs> it doesn't change anything about your progress, just what suits your schedule better. When you're beginning in the gym, I would recommend doing something that you feel comfortable doing at the gym. So maybe this could be only using a cardio machine for the beginning. Maybe you only want to use like a resistance band or some dumbbells, go into a corner where nobody sees you. I feel like all gyms have like a little hidden corner where not so many people see you, where you can experiment a little bit. When I started, I didn't feel confident to use the barbell at all. I feel like I used it months after starting going to the gym and I only did exercises that I felt comfortable doing at the time. Sometimes I was looking at workouts and I was like, hell no, I'm not gonna do that exercise. I have no idea how you do it. <laughs> and I usually also would practice if I was really unsure of an exercise, I would just practice like with by weight at home. Go with a friend, with your mom, with your dad, with a sibling. Um, you can also ask someone at the gym, but I know this is super intimidating. I personally would have never dared to do that. But now I know that these people work there to help you. So if you can do that, Biggest respect to you, I personally couldn't have done that. The first gym I signed up to, I went with a friend and then the second gym I signed up to, I went with my mom. And I have no regrets about doing that because it's awkward going around in the gym feeling like, like you're completely lost. Or you go on a different time where you know you're probably never gonna go again. <laughs> then you can just be super embarrassing and then, then you're like, I'm not gonna see these people ever again. I mean, nobody's judging you at the gym. This is something I wanna say. I would never ever touch someone. And I think most people are like that, the gym community. I think is very supportive. I know you feel like everyone's looking at you, but I promise nobody's looking at you. And if someone's looking at you, they're probably just cheering you on. In the beginning, definitely keep your workouts short. They don't need to be super long. I would say like 30 to 60 minutes, something like that, depending on how you feel, like you don't have to almost die <laughs> at your workout. And getting a routine and being comfortable in the gym is gonna take a few weeks, months. Honestly, it took me a very, very, very long time to feel comfortable at the gym. It, it doesn't happen overnight, so don't be discouraged if you don't feel your best going to the gym, especially in the beginning. And you will do things wrong. There will be things that are gonna be embarrassing, things that are gonna happen, but these things happen to all of us, okay? I cannot tell you how many embarrass like embarrassing things happened to me and still happened to me at the gym like i usually i don't know i hit my head i fall over something i lose my balance <laughs> stuff like that happens if you feel more comfortable using a workout app and having a guidance through that maybe use one i personally didn't use one in the beginning but they also weren't around at the time when i started working out but now there are so many out there i personally always use a workout app now it's just easier for me because then i don't have to think about my workout what i want to do and i just i just love it i just I I just got so used to it and now I cannot live without it anymore. Next thing is how to be motivated to go to the gym. I feel like most people want like this secret where you're always motivated to work out. People who are consistent in a gym, people who work out, they just do. There's no secret why people are going to the gym they're just going. This was something so groundbreaking for me when I heard it for the first time. When I was like, how do people wake up early? How do people get up at 5 a.m.? They just do. It's not easy. It's not easy going to the gym four or five days a week, having your meals prepped or cooking every day, making sure that you're eating healthy. It is hard. It is so hard. And there are so many times where I'm like, oh my God, why do I do this? But then I always remember why, I, like maybe you need a why. Why do you do it? I personally do it because I feel better. And this, this is a very simple answer, but I do feel better 
if I work out and if I eat healthy, not only mentally do I feel better, but I also like how I look physically better if I do this. I don't like to wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym, okay? When I wake up at 5 a.m. and I'm in the gym at 6 a.m. and I have to squat or something, doing hip thrusts, I do not want to do it. You have to stop making excuses. There are so many excuses why you are like, why you cannot go to the gym. I don't know, maybe you're tired. Disclaimer, when you're not feeling good, when you're feeling sick or whatever, I don't know, maybe you're on your period, maybe you have an emergency like a family member, whatever. There are many reasons why you cannot go to the gym. I totally get it. Like, it's not like this religious thing that you have to go to the gym, which I also thought in the beginning, I, I need to go and I cannot miss a day. But now, <laughs> having a more relaxed approach still, don't make the excuses. I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if it's cold outside, if it's dark outside. Go to the gym. <laughs> when I wake up at 5 a.m., it's dark outside. It's cold outside. The last thing that I want to do is go to the gym, but I always do it and why because I don't think about if I want to do it or do not want to do it and it's also me time before I start my day which I talked about before I love the time that I have for myself in the morning going to the gym getting ready then starting a work day something that is motivating it's not something you can rely on but what I like to do is I either change my workout program or I do new exercises or whatever I change up the way I'm training what I also like to do is new gym clothes I know this is not always possible but if it is possible I always like buying you know a new pair of leggings or something every few months if I can also a new playlist new songs is something that motivates me maybe a new water bottle I got the new gym bag a few months ago last months ago romanticizing being a gym girl you know having your cute workout outfit your cute workout bag going to the gym looking super cute in your outfit having your playlist it's gonna motivate you but at the end of the day you cannot rely <laughs> at the end of the day you cannot rely on those things these are just you know sprinkles things that help you help you that make it a little bit better you know but you still need to just go to the gym which is similar to my fourth tip, my next tip, and that is to schedule your gym days and to make it a priority. You cannot think about if you want to go to the gym or not. It has to be something so automatic. It has to be a habit. It has to be like brushing teeth, like putting your socks on in the morning, going, going to the toilet. I mean, going to the toilet is like a basic need, but you know what I mean. You don't think about if you're going to brush your teeth in the morning or not. So what I like to do is I always schedule my workouts in like, I have in my calendar Monday is leg day for example Tuesday's upper body Thursday leg day Friday upper body and then I also highly highly recommend planning your meals food is gonna be a huge factor about your fitness journey because food is also something that gives you energy food will also determine if you're gonna gain weight or lose weight depending on your goal if you want to stay consistent with eating healthy I personally like to meal prep I I know it's not for everyone but I love meal prepping <laughs> because when I meal prep I only have to cook once a week I personally hate cooking every day so I do it once a week and then it's like done I don't have to think about it anymore I never have to worry about what I want to eat it's already planned out and when I come to the situation when it's like lunchtime or dinner time and I'm hungry and I'm not making the best decisions I already have my meal in the fridge and then I just eat it there's not a lot of thinking about oh do I want to cook today what do I want to cook today uh let's forget it I'm just gonna order some takeaway cannot happen with meal prep if you don't like meal prepping maybe cook a little bit in advance or try flexible meal prepping where you only prep the ingredients and they make a different meal every day or if you don't like it at all at least plan your meals plan what you want to eat Monday to Sunday and then you can make it on that day if you can rely on yourself that you're cooking that day I personally could not tip number five is don't try to make it perfect just get it done you don't have to have a perfect workout schedule you don't have to have a perfect diet not every workout is gonna be good I have workouts where I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> this was not a good workout today but I went to the gym I moved my body I'm not gonna eat healthy seven days a week but if I fall off of track and I eat unhealthy I don't know maybe for a day maybe for two days maybe a little bit more during Christmas or whatever sometimes I, I, I had a week of almost only takeouts 
takeouts, takeaways. And I just went back to the gym the next week completely normal. I just ate normal again and nothing happened. I just went on as before. You will miss workouts. You won't be able to stick to your gym schedule. You won't be able to stick to your meals all the time. Instead of making you perfect, just accept that you're doing the best that you can and there will be better phases and worse phases. We all have that. There will be times where you can make it to the gym a lot of times, eat super healthy, you feel super consistent and then there are gonna be times where it's just not happening at all. And I think that's a great thing about making it a lifestyle because it always stays with you. It doesn't go anywhere and every time you fall off of track you just start again. You don't punish yourself for not working out or not eating healthy. You just go back to how it normally would be. Biggest and last tip to sum this up pretty much is to don't stop ever. Just keep going to the gym, keep showing up. If you keep going to the gym and you are consistent with working out and eating healthy, you're gonna see results. It's gonna take time, it's not gonna happen in a week or in a month, but you're gonna see results and definitely take some progress photos. Now I look at pictures when I started or a few months ago or something and then people always say I wish I took more progress photos and I also wish I took more progress photos. So please take those photos because you will see more on these photos than you would if you just weigh yourself on a scale. If you compare pictures from a few months apart, you're gonna see your hard work. So this is all that I have to say on how to start your fitness journey and if you're starting your fitness journey in the new year it doesn't have to be January you can still start February March April pretty much the entire year and, and if you're starting and if you're watching this in December 2024 you can still start your fitness journey today I wish you all the best for starting your fitness journey and I hope that you really enjoy it and that it makes you feel better and I hope that this video helped you in any way on starting your fitness journey because I know how intimidating it is and how hard it is to make that step and finally start your fitness journey so i'm rooting for you subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see my next video bye